In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from the basic palette in Inkscape to this, or this, or even this. What? Okay, I hope you're having a great day, everyone. And as we jump into this Inkscape tutorial, you might be wondering, hey, I'm a brand new beginner. That's okay, this tutorial's for you. If you've just downloaded Inkscape and you're looking at it for the first time, it's a bit intimidating. There's menus along the left, there's menus along the right, there's this color palette along the bottom. It's like, what do I do? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about the palette itself, this main screen that right now is white and has a page on it. So I'm gonna change this palette color and I'm going to make it transparent. Very easy to do. I'm going to go up to file on the very top left and I'm, then I'm going to click on document properties and now I'm going to get this window, this document properties window and I can scroll on through the document properties window right down to the bottom and I can see background and then it says checkerboard background and when I click on that this now makes the background transparent. And that's really helpful if you're working with transparent files like PNG files because you don't want to see if like you want to see if there's white back there. You don't want any white. So this is a nice transparent background. You can also change the background color. Simply check, click on the background color. So here's there's a little white and a little checkerboard. Just click on it and I can actually now change the background color. There's a wheel here and there's a little white line right there. That's you can move this, so you can actually change this. Now it's sitting at white, but if I click anywhere in the window, it's gonna move it around. So for example, I can say, I'm gonna uncheck the checkerboard, and now you can see it's changing the color of the background. Simply by moving, I'm just scrolling around the wheel. Now I can also make it lighter or darker inside the triangle. So every single one of these nodes inside the wheel has the corresponding colors inside the triangle. So I can make it really dark, really light, or pure color. So if, I, if you move it over to like light blue, for example, I can make it inside the triangle. I can move the, uh, the little button here and I can make it really dark, really light, or pure blue. Scroll it over to green, same deal. I can make it really dark, really light, or pure green. So you can have some fun with some cool backgrounds. Now, it doesn't really matter where it's positioned if you want the background to be white because you simply just move it inside the triangle and just move it back to white. But a lot of people don't like white. They would rather have it be black. So you could just move it to anywhere in the triangle. You just move it down to the one corner where it's black. So now I've got my palette that's black and I can work inside of that. So I don't actually need to add a shape to make it black if I'm gonna export this page, which is really nice. And again, if I don't like the black, you just go to File, go to Document Properties, and then you can always override whatever color this is by clicking Checkerboard Background. Now the Checkerboard Background has given a transparent piece to it. So if you don't like the, the how dark it is, click the little black and then just make it white. So just click inside the little triangle and you can make it white. So I'm going to click on this checkerboard background un uncheck it, make it white. That sets the default color. Then I'll reclick checkerboard background and it just makes it checkerboard. So you can just toggle back and forth between checkerboard background and non checkerboard background. That's a really nice feature to have your background set. Okay. There's another thing we can do. I'm just going to click on document properties and uncheck checkerboard background. So we're back to kind of the basics here with white. I can also change the theme, the overall theme. So you might say that's great that you have the white palette changing color, but what about the menu items themselves? Right now they're gray and maybe you don't like gray. Maybe you've got a bright setting or a dark setting and you would really rather have that be your theme. Well, you can actually change the theme inside of Inkscape very easily. Go to edit and then go down to preferences, which is at the very bottom. And then a window's gonna open up here. Now, inside the windows, there's a tools button that may be extracted. Like it's, if you see the down arrow, it just means that all of this stuff is open for business. Just click on that little tools and that will 
move it so the arrow is pointing to the right that closes all of that you know collapses that menu item so now you want to go to interface which is the next one and again if it's all collapsed just click on the little arrow and it opens it up then i'm going to click on theme and then from here i can just change the theme so the first one is add waita and that's like a gray that's what i was using at the start here then i can click on high contrast that changes the grays more to a white I can also click on high contrast inverse and that completely changes how this looks now. See how all the menus have become dark? This is a very popular one. And then from there, I can also change it to win 32. So there's a bunch of different themes here. So you can scroll on through. Now you can also click on this use dark theme and it doesn't work for every single one of these themes, but if you're in the main Adwaita, there's also a dark theme for that as well. So you can just kind of play around with the different themes and see which one you like. There's dark theme and then there's also high contrast inverse, which is just a little bit darker. So again, it's to each their own how you would like to have your theme set up. And then if you don't like that, if you change your mind, you can always just unclick it and then the use dark theme disappears. So that's really nice as well. So what I'm going to do now for the next 30 seconds is just change it so it's all dark. So I'm going to go to the, use those two things that we just covered. Edit, Preferences, and then under Theme, I'm going to go High Contrast Inverse. That's going to change my menus now to dark. Now if I want to change my palette to dark, I'll go to File, Document Properties. Down at the bottom where it says Background Color, I'm going to click on the white. I'm going to make it dark. Maybe I'll make it like pure black. I'm gonna leave that background color just piece open. Now I can also change the actual page itself. And there's this border color sitting right here. So the border color is set up to be like a dark gray. So I'm gonna click on that. So now I've got two little wheels open. So this border color, I could actually change this as well. So maybe I wanna have like something like that. So now I've got like a red border. There's also this border shadow. So you notice the right side of the border of the page and the bottom of the page, it's like a little accent. I can unclick that and I can check that and it just goes away. So some people like having the shadow, it's like a little accent and some people don't. So you can totally play around with the different colors and you can make it look as space agey as you want or, you know, you can always just undo all this stuff as well, right? You can just change it back. So I'm just going to change it all back just to show you. So I'm going to change my border color because sometimes it's scary to change stuff, right? You're like, oh God, how do I get it back, right? So I'm going to change the border color now back to black. Okay. I'm going to change my background color back to white. I'll make sure my border shadow is turned back on. And then from there, I'll just close everything out. Looks good, and I'll change my theme now. Edit, Preferences, and my theme, and I'll just go back to how I was originally. And we're back to the beginning. Nice little round trip tour there inside of Inkscape. I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, click that like button, click that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for watching.